Yeah. Well, relatively. Um, the northwest branch where their camp is, is it's spotty on whether it's going to meet its spawning escapement year to year. Uh, the southwest Miramichi, which is the larger portion of that watershed, you know, it, it consistently meets its spawning escapement. I mean, it would hit 250% spawning escapement last year. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, so the, the branch they're on... How is many it, fish would that be? Well, last year, well, I mean, you last year... You said 250%? Well, uh, on the southwest. Wow, that's uh, nice. Uh, on the northwest, which is where their camp is, it hit 108% last okay. year. And, and that's like the second time in about 12 years that okay. they've hit, you know, hit 100%. But see, you've got a concentrated First Nation fishery there. You've got most of your angling harvest takes place in the northwest. That's where the public water fishery is, for the most part. Crown Reserve, things like that. So there's a lot of challenges there on the northwest system. So but how many individual fish is, would that be like on the southwest? On the southwest last year, I can get you the numbers, but I think for the entire Miramichi last year, it was both branches, it was in the range of 80,000 adult salmon returning to, and, and I mean, that's the largest of any Atlantic Salmon River in North America. So any of the rivers near salmon farms, are there healthy runs of Atlantic salmon? Uh, not, not, no, th th there's no rivers near salmon farms that are even close to meeting spawning scheme. And so like the Inner Bay of Fundy Rivers, which is a unique genetic strain, it, it starts in and around uh, pa up past St. John, and, and there's a bunch of rivers, about 32 or almost three dozen rivers that, are, uh, that ring the inner part of the bay. Those fish don't leave the bay or Gulf of Maine. They don't go off to Greenland like all the rest of the Atlantic salmon. So their life cycle takes them out into the out into out, the Bay of Fundy, out down to here. out to here, outer Bay of Fundy where they feed, and out into the Gulf of Maine, and then they return to the rivers, you know, to spawn. And wow. those those rivers, it's that particular species that's already listed under Species at Risk Act. And the, the collective run annual returns of adults went from forty to fifty thousand fish through those you know, a bunch of those small rivers in total to less than 200 by near 2,000, less than 200 fish, individuals. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. And in BFO's recovery strategy, or potential assessment and recovery strategy, aquaculture is consistently noted as top marine threat to these fish, and they still haven't delineated the critical marine habitat. They're, they're BFO lists Salmon farms is top marine threat. Uh, the top marine threat. Well, is that Kosovo? I don't. It, it's in their recovery strategy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's just a matter of them not following their own science. Yeah. Well, I mean, in fact, I don't think they're following.